Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Madden, and in today's video, we're back playing this new. It's a nice little game. I'm gonna probably fuck up saying it because it's kind of a complicated name. Uh, I do believe it's a, it's a strategy or not strategy, like another turn page strategy game because I really like those personally. And honestly, I'm probably gonna get more into them going into the future of like trying out different ones. So I just like seeing how they work out, trying to break the game and stuff like that. Well, not break the game, but just like figure out what tactics work and then explore like the different abilities that that people give their characters now i know personally i already like the melee type stuff like well I like the melee when it's not a melee based thing so i know like zephyr was one of my favorites going back to chimera squad uh i also liked um ah uh, damn snake lady i should know her name torque i also liked her because she could subdue and like just take someone out of the fight. So I kind of like the high mobility in your face characters, depending on the play style. And I like the, I'm just going to take you out of the fight characters. Like we're going to, we're both going to be out, but you know, at least you're out too. Anyways, back to the game that we're actually playing. Cause I don't even think I've set the name yet. This is a nice little game called Inc Inculinati. If I'm saying it right, I'm going to say Inc Inculinati. I'm going to, I'll get it faster as we go. Uh, anyways, this game just released, I think yesterday, uh, the 31st, I guess I'm recording on the first, fuck, happy black hair scene on too. shout out, you know, black people, shout out me, you know, go give some money, go donate somewhere, go give your, your closest net, oh, I hit my mic, of course, go give your closest Nesby chapter like 50 bucks, anyways, this is a nice little game, they're saying it's new, uh, there's gonna be a lot of new changes coming out pretty soon, and this is kind of just gonna be the first video back, I don't want to start a full on new thing, uh, but I am interested to see what this game looks like because I know it's supposed to be like an ink based game. And I like the art style from the picture. The picture alone got me when I found out it was a tactical or when I found out it was a tactical game. That's what kept me. I'm going to just do the basic lessons. I don't want this video to be too long. Just trying to ch test my mic and everything because I was just testing my mic. There's like this shrill noise at the back end of it. Like. I, I got it set up as I was doing this sound again, but then I started recording and testing stuff and I'm like, bro, what does it sound like metals being scratched behind me? This is already really cool. The Inculian Master Battle, Battle of the Inculian Masters. All right, I got to figure out how I'm going to pronounce this word. Inculinati. The Inculinati Masters battle along the margins of medieval manuscript and the encounters with a pack of wild beasts, your tiny Inculinati will be the one to draw your arms. To draw your army okay oh is that a real hand i hope that shit goes in and out what happens during an ink in battle us living ink use living ink to draw your beast command your beast to attack enemies buff friendly beast and obtain more living ink oh, i'm gonna be all over this fucking game this is your tiny ink they will they will help you draw an army the tiny Inculinati are self-portraits of the real Inculinati master bending over their manuscript. They are much bigger than their tiny representations. Just wait till you see their hands. So we're like standing over a book then like I'm another person. I'm, a, I'm playing a game that I'm controlling a person doing something like with inscription. We we're playing as uh, the lucky Carter who was playing inscription. I'm playing as a knight who's doing this thing in the game. Anyways, uh, your time you will help you draw your army. Okay, uh, you can draw your you can draw beast in the field close to your tiny Inculinati. The archers, the arches mark your drawing range. Five. Oh, okay, so it's like it builds up over time. Uh, green arches mark mark fields where where wow. Green archers mark fields where an action can be performed. Purple archers mark fields in range where an action can't be performed. If the field is already occupied by the beast. Oh, I mean, that's just an example. The cost of every beast is shown in the shown in the drop icon next to its portrait. Next to its, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Okay, we have the sword wielding dog. I'm not going to read these yet. I'll read them as I find them because... I feel like that's better you know of course you can always pause and read oh john dorothy newly drawn beasts are drowsy so they have to take a nap meaning they won't be able to action this turn to act in this chapter they 
When all beasts and Tiny and Kulinati take a nap, a new chapter will begin. Waking everyone up. Okay. And Kulinati Master take turns moving their beast on on a time on one at a time. God damn. Let your tiny let your tiny take a nap now and wait the next chapter. Okay, so I guess this is take a nap. And I guess that's ending your turn for the next one. And then they have an arm or two arms. Oh, God. Okay, so I have John, Dorothy. I'm finding Gust and Gustav. Moving a beast onto a green field, walking range will not end its turn. It can still take an action once a beast. Okay, so it's a 2D. It's a 2D turn based strategy game. Cannot switch to a different one. Once a beast has moved, you cannot switch to a different move a beast onto a yellow field. Field sprint is the sprint range. Okay, that's the usual. Just take an action after moving. Okay. The beast will take a nap. Okay, they take naps at the end of your turn. Okay, so every okay. Alright, so taking a nap isn't weird. It's like po mm, no. oh yeah, it's kind of like putting out your Pokemon in the middle of the fight. Like if you swap in the middle of a fight. So if it's my turn and I choose to take Charizard out for a Squirtle. That's my turn. That's basically what it's saying. Like if you summon someone, that's their turn. Which makes sense, I guess. It'd be too easy if you can just like, oh, well, here's all these things. They're gonna do all this at once and wipe your board and go out. Uh anyways, uh you can hover over any beast to view their movement in action range. Okay, so you can get information. So you can get up to us. Well, you can sprint up to well, he's gonna hit us if he does. Anyways, we'll get up there. Once you're close to an enemy, you can attack. Uh, beast actions, dexterity, and attack. Once you confirm your target, you will see a moving arrow. If you stop the arrow in the attack zone, your beast will deal the amount of damage drawn. If you stop the arrow on the skull, the enemy beast will be killed. You have a few seconds to stop the arrow. When time runs out, the arrow will stop randomly. I might just let it be random though. Well, I might at some point. Like, oh, it's huge. Okay. Oh yeah, this is gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be a great game. I'm already excited to to record this again. They're jumping my fucking dog, bro. Can I move? I need another dog out there. Can I summon another one? No, I only have. Okay, I can't see. The, I can't see where the call. Oh. This cost five. Well, I had nine, I thought, last turn. When I gained three, so I think you I think it's cumulative also. And you get plus one here. Okay. So I'm gonna lose John Dorothy, but Oh, they ran. I was gonna throw something. Fuck. Oh wait, that's not bad. Wait, no, they can still kill him. Inculinati hand action. In addition to drawing beast, the tiny Inculinati has a secret weapon, hand action. Unlike the other beasts, the tiny Inculinati can perform any number of available actions during their turn. Of course they can. Select the tiny Inculinati, then choose the SWAT action on on the tar on. Oh, hang on, choose the SWAT action and target an enemy. If the target is on the is out of range, you can you can move your tiny closer with another hand action to select a different beast. Hover over it, and I don't know what this is trying to say. Supposed to be using the SWAT action. In range, so if I what if, if I walk here, I SWAT them. Oh, I guess it's saying SWAT is like what they're doing. I, mean, I could just jump this one, but I, that one's only one hit. Can you reach it? No. Wait. You can. Okay, I was scared that it was gonna hit me if I uh did anything well you're gonna die either way okay so it's the damage that would kill that's a skull wait i didn't get i didn't get i didn't get his turn oh that's shitty oh i'm at three health oh, i lost three health for myself we were right oh okay swat strike the target for five damage. Okay, so it's an action that my Inc Inculinati does. 
you can take this action immediately if there's a beast in range. Uh, you could. Okay. Oh. Okay. Itch. Some hand actions have a cooldown. This means that once you use them, okay, of course. Time for a nap. Okay. I can move, right? Oh, I can't do that now. Okay, sleep. This, uh, this little, oh, never mind. I was going to say this demo is taking longer than I thought. It's not. It's only been 10 minutes. Oh, so he has like a, a 360 move. The icon at the top of the screen switches hints on and off. Appreciate that. Uh, okay, I'll leave them on for now. Oh, is that what these are? Okay. Well, I don't, don't think I need a hint for that. Okay, I can kill with any hit, so this is going to be fine. <laughs> I wonder if flanking does extra damage. It does look like it. Now you see that I'm the greatest and cool and naughty master of all time. I can't believe it. I have the advantage. You got two arms. But like that was it. I like four. I like four paws. Oh, that was an eight. Okay. Chapter one. Choose between moving left and moving right. The selected beast friend, friend or enemy will move on to the first unoccupied field in the chosen direction no occupied fields too bad that means the beast will fall into the abyss and die oh okay so that's a strategy too the deadliest and cool and technique beast will be pushed onto the first unoccupied field what does pushing do push an enemy into the abyss or the apocalypse or the apocalyptic fire to kill them uh, instantly. Okay. You can push uh, using your beast or your tiny and Kulinati. Okay. You can push your battlefield element to foil your opponent's plan. Ah, I see. And then I can push them back. Yeah, that boy's going off. Whoop. Okay, that's a pretty cool thing. There's a lot of tactics in this game. I'll just go to sleep now. I guess maybe I should have pushed that one off first, but it doesn't really matter. It would have taken me two turns either way. And I would have took damage either way. Look out of here. Okay, well, he only uses his left hand. So he's either, either holding himself up with his right hand or he's left-handed. I've proven my moral superiority. I accept this laws, but not your superiority. This is like a true loser. Two masters of the living ink, Inkulinati, will duel on the margins of an ancient manuscript. This is your entry exam. You'll be playing as Godfrey in a duel against Hil Hildegard, the Holy Church Reformer. I feel like this is going to be dope as fuck. The tiny Inkulinati is a unique beast. Unlike the other, they cannot walk on their own. They need to put. They need to push your tiny friend in order for them to move. Okay. In order to win an Unkulinati duel, you must destroy your opponent's tiny Unkulinati. To do so, either reduce its health to zero, push it into the abyss, or the fires of the apocalypse. I guess that's a different edge of map? Question mark? 
I don't fucking know. They're just talking about it casually. There's some shit in the corner that I didn't get to read because, like I said, I was changing some shit right quick that I caught. I was messing with my audio. It's going to be probably a few videos that's going to be a little iffy. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Hopefully, I can hear the sound too, like the game sound. My shit keeps jumping all over. The well, I just changed some stuff, so it kind of jumped. Anyways, here you can see uh, the health of Clay. That's kind of easy. Keep an eye on it. Back. Okay, next. Ooh, what are these? Bow wielding dogs or spear wielding dogs? I want to read. Like, you can read the descriptions if you want to. I'm going to read them later when we get into the full game. So I don't want to be reading shit like for a character that I don't have yet. Sword attacks deal the most deal the most damage, although they can only target adjacent fields. Spear attacks can reach up to two fields away and have the longest melee reach. Bow attacks can hit up to six fields away, except adjacent ones. Okay. Beasts that use bows have the lowest amount of health. However, I right to learn more about the rules pressed against it hint what? uh access the instructions in battle okay oh okay drawing moving and attacking enemy movement beast limit all right all right all right there's a shit ton of stuff in there all right well we'll come back to that if we need it i feel like always starting with a bow is going to be pretty nice uh oh and i can get a sword out but i can't move him in front i should put the sword behind i should put the the bow behind the sword. Okay, so we got Little John and Grouchy out here. And that's it for my turn. I mean, I could push him. Just to be sure that he doesn't get ran up on and instantly killed. And... Can I swat her? No. Oh, there's a range. Okay. All right, I'll take a nap. Okay, so she has little rabbits. Oh, I just had a I just made a rabbit character in DD. &D. He's pretty cool. He gets he goes from small to large when he fights and he grabs stuff a lot because he doesn't have magic weapons and we're running the curse of Strahd. You can collect living ink by standing on okay, so we can heal. You receive three drops of ink for each be standing on an ink drop. That's crazy. Oh no, ink drops is how we summon. Move or push in your beast onto an ink slot. Yeah, you're going to... How far forward can you get? Can you attack from here? Ink will be collected once all the beasts finish their turns and take a nap. Don't move your beast until the end of the chapter. Confused? Don't know how, what to do? If you uh, if you can't attack any an enemy, pray or take a nap. Pray? Wait, wait, wait. Hail of arrows. Do two to four damage. Attack up to three targets up to six fields away up to three targets okay every two chapters oh and i can push them the target makes the target unpushable okay i'm gonna go ahead and take a shot take a shot at the the lady oh yeah because she's almost dead already oh. little john Get him. Oh, wait, no, that was the ink that I was. Oh, wait, I didn't. I didn't get to. I didn't get to use uh, uh, Mr. Swordman. Oh, I guess we go back and forth on our turns. Cleave attack both adjacent fields. OK, well, I don't want to hit myself. I'm going to fuck this bunny up. Missed. Not bad, though. They're still dead on the next hit. And I will. Oh, what if I push her off? Like, just push her off from here. Oh, I can't reach her that far. SWAT. Can't, re can't reach anyone with the SWAT. What if I just move forward? Fuck it. Let's go. Uh, I can't just push space in my turn. Oh, we get bonus ink too, right? Yes, sir. Um, interesting strat, Rabbit. Well, switching beast. Switching between your active beast by pressing assigned keys. If you're playing with a mouse, you may also switch by clicking on a beast you wish to use. After either moving or using it in action, you cannot switch to another beast. Okay. 
Okay, so you choose a beast to take your turn with. Then they get their turn, and then we get our second, like, like it'll go back and forth per chapter. Yeah, good job, boy. Okay, now she's gonna summon. That's, uh, that's solid. You're probably gonna die then, bud, because that's definitely gonna hit you. Um, special AO attacks allow you to hit multiple. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm still not going to hit everything, but I feel like you're going to die. But I can also summon another. Ooh, what if I got a spear one out just for shits and gigs? Just to see what he has going. I feel like this is like the full, like mid range, long range, close range. But we're still going to get bonus ink at the end of this turn, anyways. Um,. Oh, it's just me now? But I could jump all the way up to the front if I wanted to. What's the range on that? One, two, three, four. I, like, if I did, though, right? Like, if I did, I'm going to, right? Because fuck you, why not? And then I could, like, can I hit her? I can hit you. Oh, fuck that bunny. All right, let's get out of here. Have time. Oh, you still have your turn? Damn, you only do two to four damage, though. Still, fuck this money. Shout out Godfrey. He's not a backline leader. Oh, is this Grouchy Advanced? Oh, is it, is it writing out what's happening? Godfrey and Little John jabbed his cousin, after which he felt somewhat hungry. Ow. Ed the Young, the apocalypse in high. This is the beginning of the end of the battle. At first, you'll see the field that that's going to be affected. The apocalypse is the next chapter. Everything, including your tiny inculinati incul that remains in the field, will be destroyed. Uh, if the tiny inculinati ends up on the field of an apocalypse fire, push them off of the f to save them. Similarly, you can push the enemy inculinati to the fire. Okay. Uh, right, all right, all right. Push. What'd she just do? It looked like she didn't use her turn. I'm definitely pushing into that fucking fire next turn. Sword attack. Yeah, it looks like in that top left corner, it's writing stuff down, but I can't really tell. All right, what do you have? Can you throw this shit? Nah. Can I get your turn? Can I move you to the right? Oh, she's out of range. All right, fuck it. We can crowd her space, right? And like, just fucking, like she can't spawn nobody. And then, oh, but she could also just push me into that fire next turn now. Yeah, I'm going to move back, actually. I will spawn another bow creature up here. Creature? Okay. I think I'm going to fuck with this game. This is the next one. I can still get pushed straight into that fire because I put someone in front of me. Okay, so I'm gonna push. Wait, 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 wait. What did I do? Oh, praying will cause you to be unaffected by push. Fuck this bitch. Push. This is what I wanted to do. Get the fuck back over there. I don't know where she thought she was going. You push her. You're close enough now, right? I, I can't push her? I can't reach her. Okay, well, you push her. Just push this bitch into the fire. Yeah. You know, me and my dogs, right? <laughs> it's proven my moral superior. I should have seen the, this coming. The time of penance is upon me. Thorax and passed away. I'm going to start. I, I got to read that shit up there. Maybe that's how I end all the videos. We'll just read that shit back. 
Outstanding. You've made it through the academy. You can continue practicing in the academy or you can take the final exam and set off. Adventure time. What's the final exam? Um, she, this already been a 30 minute video. So let's finish up with this. Oh no, this is just starting the thing. Okay. All right. All right. So I, I can't go back. Ah, uh, fuck. Anyways, so that's going to be all for me on this video. Uh, I hope y'all liked it. I'm going to be getting into this game next time. Actually, no, fuck it. Let's start it. Why not? Uh, let's see. 15. 15. Uh, 15. How would you? I'm like. I don't. I feel like I'd be fine at the game. I feel like I'd miss a lot of stuff. Receive two boredom points per one drawn beast. I don't know if these are changing much. Enemy tiny, you only have an additional two. An additional two health ain't bad. I think four is gonna be kind of crazy. Oh, I can customize my character. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna end it here. Let's. I'm gonna. Mm, let's see. I'm not gonna put this out before I want to record this shit again. So I'm really just gonna have to pick. Or I mean, like maybe I can pick the next one. Uh, fuck the color. Are these like? Are these classes? Or can I only be the all wife? Okay. Oh shit. There's like stuff in the game. So that's a you can swat someone. So hit them. You can do healing. Actually, I'm gonna put this video out raw. Maybe I can pick. Fuck it. Uh, healing affects a single chosen target. And then that's all we have there. All right. So we can either heal someone or hit someone with our hand ability for our beast. We can either have the dogs like we just had or the bunnies like we just saw. And it looks like that's it. Uh, personally, I don't know. I roll with the dogs pretty hard in that, but I do have the bunny character and I kind of want to empathize with them a little bit. You know, he is working with a vampire who eats bunnies and he has to live with that uh, image. Now we have Halo. Or I'm not reading these living ink. Are these passives? Uh, maybe I should read them before I take them. All right, Halo. Each Halo increases the beast damage and accuracy by one. Will also removes her heresy. The maximum amount of Halos on a beast is three. Halo decreases by one when the beast takes a nap. Each Halo increase. But how do you get a Halo on them? Or basic resources in, in, in whatever duels allows you to draw beast can be obtained at the end of e end of a chapter. Three drops of for each friendly beast or tie on an ink blot. I'll, I'll take living ink and I, I think I'm gonna have to take living ink because I don't even understand that other one. Okay, so there are different characters we can play. So we can be the all wife, a strong woman in a diff in the in these difficult times. We have the Miller or Miller, I guess. The Miller knows what Im what's important in life, but does not inspire confidence. Looney, master's second cousins twice removed. Growing up in the orphanage wasn't too hard on him. Okay, so those are our three options. If we have colors, don't care what color, give me a color. Oh, we can change the name too. So, you know, if someone puts it in a time, if not, of course, I don't mind because I'm probably only give it like a day or two before, probably like two, three days before I actually come back and ask time to record the next one. But once again, you know, I'm just gonna put this out pretty much raw, probably a little bit of light editing right now and then post it. Uh, so if you see it and you want to put in, I'm gonna record this these videos because I need some shit to do in my little bit of free time. So why not spend that editing and recording videos for shits and gigs? So just let me know what y'all want to see in this. If no one says anything, I'm just big. So honestly, either way, I don't care because either I'm gonna do what I want or I'm gonna do what I want because you know it works out. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm still rambling at the end. And I'll see y'all in the next one.